Vous, vous faites ce que vous voulez. <rire> tu m'entends par le micro Oui. C'est parfait. Parfait aussi, je t'entends. Oui, oui. Oh, it's working. Okay, thank you. Are you ready, Frank? I am ready. Yes. First, first, first song. <coughs> Okay, let's go. Yes. Okay, so thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We are very happy to have this opportunity. Thanks to uh, IUCN, or UICN, as we say in French, uh, to make this presentation today for, for you uh, about greenering in cities, uh, which will be the, the center theme of our presentation. So we will present a tool called Sesam, not Sesame like in Sesame Street, but Sesam in French, like for the old uh, Arabic uh, tale about uh, Sesam, ouvre-toi, Sesam, open yourself, which is the, the key, and uh, this project is a key for a brighter future in cities by using uh, this Sesam tool, which we will introduce to you. Can we proceed for the slides, please? Denis, c'est toi Yes. OK. So this is the summary of our presentation. So I'm sorry, but from here, I cannot see very much. But uh, so we will make a presentation, short presentation of Serema. If it was possible to have it also on the right hand screen for me, for, because I, I, I can hardly see it from, from here. And I have not my glasses. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Yes, this, is, this will be better like this. Thank you, thank you very much. So we will make a brief introduction, so maybe a brief introduction of ourselves. So myself, my name is Franck Charmaison. I'm the head of the European and International Relations Department in CEREMA, which is uh, the implementer of this CESAM project, which we, I will introduce. And I introduce also my uh, colleague, Denis Musard, who is also, to meet you. also from Serema, from Nantes, so a city in the western part of France, and who is an expert on Sésame, Sésame. I, I, sh I shall say it the French way. So the outline of the presentation will be first a brief introduction of Serema, uh, which will be in French. Sorry for the slides, but it's only two slides. I, I think you can stand it without any problems. Then we will go to the project backgrounds and objectives, to the services and constraints considered in CISAM 13, CISAM 13, which I will explain afterwards what it, it is all about. The choice of species of trees for the database, which is one of the key points of this presentation and an application for urban greening professionals. And uh, we will then, at the end of this presentation, speak about progress, the limits, and the prospects yes. of this SESAM tool. Yes, please. It is a, an experimental tool. So there are some limits. OK, so Serema first, uh, in a few words, uh, just to tell you who we are. So we are the public agency of reference in France. So for those of you who don't stay, understand French, I will try to translate the slide. Yes. Don't, don't leave the room, Do you understand please. French? That's yes, perfect. good. OK, good. On va parler en français, alors, okay. si vous comprenez bien. Anyway, so <laughs> we are the public agency of uh, reference in France uh, for supporting the public policies on uh, land and uh, country planning policies about mobilities, about adaptation to climate change and transitions. And we are depending on the French ministries which are in charge of these themes, uh, which is uh, the Ministry of Ecological Transition in French at present. So CEREMA is quite big because we are more than uh, 2,500 people and we are uh, on 27 uh, sites all around the French national territory and also the French overseas territory. So both inside uh, mainland uh, France and uh, 
and in the, the French West Indies, so we can, we uh, just to tell you in other words that we are near to our audience, we are near to the uh, French public collectivities and uh, we are near to the public, which is one of our key advantage as, at CEREMA. We have a turnover of about 250 million euro in, uh, not a turnover, a budget, sorry, of 250 million euro in 2022 and a turnover of uh, 43 million euro the same year. And so in CEREMA, we have adopted a strategy, a new strategy since uh, 2021 which is the adaptation to climate change as a compass of our activities. So the key sentence to present CEREMA is, as long as the climate will change, CEREMA will act. So that's our... So, uh, so we, we get punchline. some few years... Uh, I shall say. <laughs> before so, us. Yes, please. Okay, so just as I told you that we were uh, scattered... This is the map of France all around France, so from north to south and east to west, and also in French overseas territory, in La Réunion, Mayotte. Uh, we will open in uh, January a new department in Guadeloupe and Martinique, and we have a department in French Guiana. So we are both mainland and French overseas to be near to our uh, customer, uh, shall say customers or partners. Uh, because the, the French local authorities are also members of uh, CEREMA in, in this uh, constitution, please. Okay, so we are a trusted third party, a tiers de confiance in French, for the public uh, actors uh, around four modalities of intervention. So first, expertise and high-level engineering, which are turned towards the, the Green Deal since uh, 2021, innovation for the public policies at the service of the usage, the needed, the needs and the well-being of the citizens, which is also one of our uh, key uh, points. And we have uh, quite developed in the recent year uh, an operational research. We have 12 research teams. We have more than 120 projects ongoing with a high level of uh, operationalité, sorry for the French, of the project. And uh, altogether, we have about 200 researchers working full time for those projects. And so we have methodologies and we have a state of art books. One of our duty in CEREMA is to introduce to a large audience the, the French expertise in uh, the fields where we work in. So we have more than 3,000 publications and we also are uh, giving uh, training sessions on the themes we are working on. Please, for both for public and private actors, we are working in six areas. So buildings, mobilities, transport infrastructures, environment and risks, sea and sea seaside, seashore, sorry. And one uh, theme which is gathering all uh, around the, those activities, which is exper expertise and territorial engineering. So this is the activities, which are the activities of CEREMA, and uh, well, as a matter of history, CEREMA is gathering all the research department of the former French Ministry of Construction. So that's why we are working on those different topics. Please, so as I said, so we have a website, so which uh, is uh, giving you the opportunity to download for free lots of publications. I say more than uh, 3,000. So, some of those, all of those publications, of course, are published in French, but some of these publications are also available in English and other languages. You can refer to this link. I think that so after the presentation, uh, it will be put on the website. So, please do not hesitate. We have around 200 uh, publications in English, publication in Spanish, in Portuguese, in Chinese, in Russian. So we, one of our duty by law at the creation of CEREMA is to publicize the French know-how in the themes, uh, in the six areas which I mentioned before. Please. So 
We have a website. In fact, the website is both in French and in English. And if you want to contact us, please do not hesitate. So our email address is international at cereba.fr. So that's the, the department where I'm working in. So let's go to the core of this presentation now. So project backgrounds and objectives. So please, uh, Denis, if you can just turn. So CRM, uh, Sesame 13, Sesame, Sesame 13, Sesame 13 in French is a partnership with three structures. So CRMA, as I introduced before, then le département des Bouches du Rhône, so the French department of Bouches du Rhône, as you know, French is France is organized into 100 uh, territorial entities called département. And the partner of this CESAM uh, 13 uh, project is the Département des Bouches du Rhône. And the third partner is INRAE, which is the National French Institute for Research uh, for uh, sorry, Agriculture and Environment. And uh, well, I will introduce a little bit more in detail just after. So Département des Bouches du Rhône is here on the map. So here you have the Mediterranean seaside. And as you can see, the Département des Bouches du Rhône is facing this seaside and uh, has decided to encourage the emergence of urban nature projects as part of the Département's, sorry for the, this word in French, Département and Environmental Agenda. They have created a nature-based solutions delegation and in the application submitted by a commune, which is a smaller part of the department, under the Provence Vert scheme, greening projects are motivated not only by aesthetic consideration, uh, without any long time thinking. So that's what CESAM wants to face, to put the long time into perspective for those uh, projects. So if you can go to the next slide, so Serema, so I will not present a second time for you, but this is, uh, this is us. And uh, in RAE, so they have an experimental unit called Villa Ture, which has been a research site dedicated to botany and uh, acclimatation since uh, 1857, so more than 100 years ago now. They have an acclimatation mission for introduction, cultivation, accommodation, and study of wild plant species, mainly exotic since its creation. So they are um, dealing with those, all those plants from all over the world. They have a botanical garden on Cap d'Antibes, also on the Mediterranean coast, which is open to the public, which is uh, quite big because it's a three and a half hectare with 1,000 woody species in collection, plus their traceability in time, plus herbarium, plus archives on historical species, and a permanent renewal in species. So please, we can, I think, go to the next slide. And we can now go to the core of this presentation, which is the issue of urban heat islands. And this issue, uh, which is, uh, which we face now a little bit here in Dubai, but we will face a little bit more in the future. As you know, global warming should accentuate this phenomenon with more heat waves. So currently, Marseille has the same level in the Mediterranean seaside, like cities like France in Toulon, Nice, and uh, Santiago de Chile in uh, Southern Hemispherium, Hemisphere, sorry. And, uh, but in future projection, we are afraid that this uh, uh, thing will change and worsen more and more. And uh, in a future projection, it will be more like the countryside in Valencia, Spain, Palermo, or maybe even like Algiers, Tunis, Tangiers, Los Angeles, Adelaide. So more and more warming, more and more problem of uh, this warming in cities. So please go to the next. So what is Sésame? Sésame, so of course, has a signification in French, but I will not go into details uh, during this speech. Uh, so ecosystemic services provided, provided by trees, which are modulated by species. So that's 
the, uh, the nickname of Sesame in France, and uh, that is the theme of this presentation. So this Sesame tool is not one tool which is uh, in function all over France, from north to south and east to west, but it's adapted at each condition, city by city, so in the case of the Bouche du Rhône, so that's why it's called Sésame 13, Sésame 13, because it's adapted to this context uh, and uh, we have a methodology which was implemented first in northern France in a city called Metz, and uh, so which is now implemented to in uh, Bouche du Rhône area. So this SESAM is a tool to help design urban greening projects. So the audience which is located by SESAM 13, SESAM 13, are local authority technical services, the department, so business and skills sector, and any planning body interested in urban greening issues. So it is open to a wide audience, it is open to the general, public and this this tool is and i will show afterwards during the presentation it will be freely available for everybody for every customers for every citizen they can go and they can see what sesame is all about so please so as i said sesame is working with its uh, users so we have a users committee which is a privileged forum for discussion with the future SESAM 13 users, SESAM 13 users, to gather their needs and opinion, to design and test the tool with the, the users and the future users of the tool. So we will go back into more details about this point after in the, the presentation. And it is in connection with the reality on the ground. So it is really a tailor-made approach and uh, that's why uh, we are quite proud about what SESAM is all about. Please. So what are the services and constraints which are considered in SESAM 13, SESAM 13? So first, what are the ecosystem services? So the concept of ecosystem services has been around since the mid 70s and it's originated in the world of conservation and focus primarily on ecosystem degradation. But the, the ecosystem and the concept has been disseminated since the Millennium Ecosystem Assessment in 2005, and it refers to the benefits that humans can derive from the functioning of ecosystems. So at the service of the people, for the people, and for everybody uh, using this tool. Please, next one. So what about sesame? So we have to consider the urban tree and shrub. So I, as far as uh, from the, the beginning, trees and sh shrubs provide services that are not well known to the public or to developers. They are well known to you here in this Dubai exhibition because you can go under the shade of the tree and so you can now discover all about sesame in a few minutes. What are the advantages of having a tree above your head to protect you from the sunshine and uh, to cool down the atmosphere? So that's the basic idea of sesame. So, uh, but we are working also with the tree and shrub species, which are more or less adapted to the local climate. So that's why I said that we have different versions of SESAM depending on north and south, east and west. Really, it's a tailor-made tool which is adapted to the local climate, to the difficulties of the urban climate and to expected constraints of the climate change. But also, we have to take into consideration that trees and shrubs also represent constraints to the environment because of the issues of allergenic pollens, of their, their dimensions, and so on, that need to be taken into account and to be taken into consideration when planning uh, this, uh, this uh, system. So, please. 
Uh, what is the service that uh, an urban tree can give? So it's regulating at its uh, own scale the local climate. So the example here shows that in Toulon, so which is a city nearby Marseille, nearby the, the place South. where we implement so, uh, Cézanne 13, so grass in the sun is 40 degrees, and tarmac in the sun is 52 degrees and a, high and a half, while when you're under the shade of a tree, the surface temperature cool down and come back to 27 degrees C and 31 degrees C respectively. So this is the basic advantage of the SESAM method, to use more trees to cool down the atmosphere and to help cities and citizens to work under the shade and uh, to benefit from, uh, from this uh, system. Please, if you can turn on. So how does SESAM work? So with the SESAM tool, it's possible to estimate the service provided in the city by the plant species entered in the database because so a tree is not only a tree, it's a specific sort of tree. And so the database is uh, considering all the species of trees which can be used for the uh, implementation. We identified the species best suited to the user's greening project. So as I said, it's a telomet project and the constraint posed by the different species uh, so which we will uh, show a little bit afterwards. So please go to the next slide. So, well, this is a picture taken in southern France uh, which shows the landscape and the quality of life thanks to the trees, thanks to the grass, and uh, you can see people here are enjoying living in the cities. So, the SESAM uh, system is uh, dealing with lots of uh, issues. So first, the space typology, area typology, so which type of area we are considering, main thoroughfare, ring road, car park, and so on. So depending on the area, it's not the same kind of trees that we will have to plant, that we will have to use. And the SESAM system takes that into consideration which type of service to provide. So the prioritization is made of four landscape services, structuring the area, animating the space, providing comfort for the residents and citizens, and also a symbolic issue because uh, a tree is something more than a tree, so it can uh, carry lo lots of uh, significations and so on and the species so we of course consider the species of trees so here you have three species of trees but of course there are plenty of them and they are entered into the season database for for better use by the urban planners and architects so if we go there so as you can see we regulate the local climate but we also create a local landscape and people can enjoy this type of landscape, thanks to the tool which is done on purpose for, for this issue. So, a few technical issues of regulation of the local climate. Here, as you can see, you have the sunshine and uh, the uh, duties of the trees are of various types. You see, so, depending on the size of the tree, on the width of the crown of the leaf size, the minimum, maximum, the tree habit, the leaf shape, foliage density, and the leaf roughness, depending on those various factors, you have different type of trees you can use. And of course, you take into consideration the wind, the people passing by, the roots of the trees, so this is uh, the, this diagram describes the, uh, uh, how a tree works as a machine to help uh, this type of uh, regulation of climate in the inside the cities and regulating so urban climate due to various uh, types of duties uh, which are uh, shown here on this picture. So please, if you can go next, of course, 
countries also deal with the issue of biodiversity. With a good tree, you can have lots of birds nesting there. And so this is an example of the CSM 13 project, where they found this type of uh, hole. Oh. hole. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> this type of hole, but also you have various types of butterflies and birds are breeding in the, they are nesting inside the tree, so they are also providing life to uh, this part of land and uh, thanks to the tree, thanks to the uh, installations which we made with the tree, we can create a sort of uh, specific life in a specific corner of the city, please. So what we consider about biodiversity also is that uh, the tree pro can provide food for the birds and food for the animals, so winter food, and also they can act as an attractive species for pollinators. So a type of tree can host some various pollinators and can help uh, this, uh, so various type of bees and so on which are uh, hosted by the tree, so which is also a machine to help uh, pollination of uh, the surrounding area. So biodiversity, you have a list of criteria assessed, so I will uh, just show them to you. You can go through and read them. As you see, they are native or non-native characters, the ability to host insects, the ability to generate pollen and nectar, the ability to create habitats and act, as, as, as I said, as a host plant, and their phenomenon, oh, sorry for the English, phenological lag compared with other species. So this is an indicator of biodiversity that the SESAM system takes into consideration. Of course, the uh, trees in cities help for better quality of air. So they are helping for air quality regulations. And here you have a, uh, you can show the, the quality of air improving thanks to this uh, plantation of tree in the city. So criteria assessed for the air quality regulation is the absorption of CO2 and other pollutants the productions of uh, O2 oxygen and the filtration of small uh, dust uh, by the tree, which is also a machine helping in those issues. And uh, of course, depending on the foliage persistent, depending on the leaf roughness and so on, as you can see, all those criteria are assessed in the database. Please. So the concept of a species bundle approach to optimize the chances of planting success. So as you can see, a tree is also a landscape where you put several trees uh, in uh, conjunction one with another. And as you can see, bundles separate from the tool in the species sheet. They include the plant communities adapted to the same soil condition, the uh, sesame system, takes into consideration the soil condition for the trees. This is a qualitative approach, as the criteria need to be called cross-reference without losing the side the overall effect of the bundle in phytosociological, sorry, ecological landscape terms. So in, 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 in a few words, the bundle must make sense and have its own uh, as I say, its own char characterization, its own life. The constraint we consider, uh, here you have various also examples of uh, constraints. So some trees have to toxic fruits, which are uh, potential danger for the inhabitants and uh, specifically the, the children, of course. You have the problem of allergenic pollen, you have the problem, like you can see on these pictures, on the roots, which are damaging coatings. We have the issue of honeydew production, the flammability, and so on, and so on. So, so. Is all these constraints are filled for each species in the database and listed in the species shade. So 
the user can decide which type of species they want to use, they want to plant in uh, uh, said area. Please. Okay. Choice of species for the Sesame 13 database. So the choice based on criteria to meet the present challenges, but also the future one, which is the adaptability to more and more severe droughts, the hardiness, so because of the increase in the number of and intensity of climatic events, the problem of avoidance of exotic species, the problem of the limited number of protected species, and, but at this stage of consideration of the project, the health concerns are not eliminatory. Of course, they must be taken into consideration, but it's part of the game, not uh, a definitive criteria to select or not select a specific type of tree. So, and we have, of course, a range of species to meet, to meet sorry, different needs of, for the landscape, the local landscape. So you have native species or exotic, uh, so you can choose to bring exotic species in a special place. Uh, and of course, you have to be very careful uh, and to eliminate species that are known to be invasive and that can, of course, in the, in the long term, uh, make a con constraints in the landscape by eliminating the native species, please. So, <coughs> sorry. So you have the list of species, so, well, by type, you have native species, non-native species, and you have here a ratio which was used for this uh, SESAM 13 project. As you can see, we have 52% of native species and 48% of non-native species. We have some types of bush, we have some types of wine, and we have some type of shrub, which are all together, put together to create a lot the, the local landscape. And so this uh, SESAM application is available on the web and is a tool for town planners and for developers which, uh, who can then use the SESAM tool to uh, improve their project and uh, make it more green. Please, you can, if you can. So, the SESAM uh, project, you have the tree of decision, as we, call, as we like to call it in France. <laughs> and to determine the need of your project, which are the constraints to be taken into consideration, which are the service to privilege, and which type of public space are we speaking of. So, we have some, then, based on those criteria, the system will select some type of trees, some type of shrubs, and propose them to the developer. So then, the developer can, have, uh, can make the choice of species he wants to use for uh, his uh, project. Next one, please. So the various steps for the use of uh, the SESAM first, uh, sorry, because it's in French, so I have to determine the needs and the constraints of the project, as said. Then I choose the ecosystemic services which I want to privilege, which I want to put first. And uh, so then the choice has to be made. Then I have to decide which type of public space I want to uh, amenage. How do you say it in English? Uh, which type of public manage. place you want to, to set? To, set, to organize. Uh, to organize. And then you use the tool to launch the research and then you got a list of species which are adapted to uh, the constraints you, you want to face and the issues you want to deal with. So this is how the SESAM tool is working. So we here you have a, a take example of application. So First, which one are the services which you want the tree to make? So here, uh, giving shade to pedestrians passing by. Then you go to identify by a picture. Then you choose 
the species which are fitted, uh, which are not uh, bad for the health, and which are also have this issue of refreshing the city. You can choose the space, uh, you, the species you like, and then you push on the button, and the button lets you choose the type of tree you can uh, decide to utilize for your uh, system. So, which are the progress, which are the limits, and which are the prospects? So, as I said, we just, so this was for the Sesame, Sesame 13, the Sesame 13 project. So, first issue in 2022 was the adaptation to the local context. Then, we have a local user committee, a, lo a committee of users, uh, in order to have all the citizens uh, having their word to say about how uh, it is uh, organized and what they think about. Second step, step two, is the definition of relevant and prioritized ecosystem services. The choice of trees and shrub species, which also has been uh, made in 2022, with a user committee also uh, helping to more, uh, have a better definition of uh, those services. Then we fill the database, and then we have a new user committee which is checking what has been done in the previous steps. And then the step four and the final step, the SESAM local fi is, is finalized and is put online. Then all the developers, all the architects can use it uh, for their projects. So please. I go to the next slide. So, Sesame 13, Sesame 13 is a help, but it's not a panacea. So, what the tool is doing so is a tool to help design greening project, help in finding the right plans for the user's project in the, con in the context of the climate change, of course. This is a reliable database which is supplemented by experts, of course, because the, all the choice the user's committee are and comprising, of course, citizens, uh, local authorities, but also experts uh, like Denise, so experts in the, in the system. You have the informative species sheets, which I've shown to you on the previous slide. And then you have a web application that is accessible to all, but basically designed for greening professionals. So, the application, everybody can go, can, can look, can have a look and uh, decide what they like, but it's dedicated at first uh, 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 step to professionals and the users. What is not SESAM 13, what is not the SESAMI project, is not a turnkey tool for drawing plans for greening project. The expertise of landscape architects and planners is still essential for sketching out a project. So it is a help, but it is not uh, the final solution for all projects. You have to work on it afterwards. It's also not a tool for identifying the perfect species. Each species has its own strengths and its own weaknesses, depending on the context of the project. So here, of course, you have to well, you have to go back and guess, realize what you want exactly to, to proceed, how you want exactly pro to proceed, which type of species you want to, to privilege, for which use, and so on. And also, uh, CESAM is not checking the availability of nursery plants, so sorry, but uh, you can find a tree which seems very relevant, very particular, and very well adapted for one project, but uh, unfortunately, it's not available on the market. As you can uh, see from the very beginning of the presentation, we uh, mentioned the uh, issue of the participation of INRAE and uh, of their uh, botanical garden. Of course, this botanical garden is very well developed and can help uh, by providing a lot of species for uh, a specific project. But so this is what SESAM does and does not do. 
Okay, so we have spoken about the example of uh, Marseille, Southern France. We have, a, you, we have another example which you can go to the website because it's, it's available on the internet it's called sesame.serema.fr. So, as they say here uh, in the punchline, Sesame uh, is a tool to integrate the tree in your project of urban renaturation. Re so, this is what Sesame is, is, is for, and that's it's how it's, uh, it's working. So, the other punchline is, uh, well, it's... Uh, in French, it's good, but... In, in French, it's, it's too good. Uh, L'outil Sesame, planté sans se planter. You understand? So, <laughs> well, in English, it looks like uh, the sesame tool plant without making errors, <laughs> roughly. So, sorry for the poor translation. So, this is the end of my presentation. And, uh, of course, we uh, will uh, take great questions from the audience. But it's not exactly and directly our presentation from ourselves. The people who have uh, done this presentation, you have their names here. You can contact them if you want to have more explanation about how Sesame is working, what it is doing, what it's not doing, how you can use it in your city, and so on. So those three people are your contact point. All of them are uh, people of Serema. So I think it's the last uh, slide of the presentation, yes, is it? Yes, yes. So Thanks a lot, Frank. Oof, sorry for my poor English, but uh, no. that was uh, that was the that was the part of the game Your to to do it in English. So please, if you have any questions, so myself and Denis, my colleague, will be very happy to uh, answer to your questions and discuss the issues. But as you can see, Sesame is a tool which is tailor-made for each city and yes. for each project. You can have your own choice of trees. And that's uh, actually it's a new tool to help project developers in their uh, daily work. Thank you. Okay.